Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about Laravel sub query joining. I already discussed about inner join, left join, right join, cross join and advanced join. Today, we will discuss about some basic things of sub query join. Basically, we use this kind of query when we need to write a query inside another query we can push one query to another query and also can use joining functionality between the two tables so here is my database that is laravel 8 and here are my two tables is sub student and subject so this is the student table and this is the subject table so here the student table there is three records and i am using the student tables id in the subject table as a student id so here the student id is the foreign key of student tables primary key so here is my student controller and let's create a function and inside the function i will use the subquery joining so here my function name is public function subquery join and i am going to create a query for subject and that query will be used in the student table that means inside the student table we will use the subject table query so i am taking a variable that is subject data and i am writing my query so db table the name of the table is subject now i'm going to select this query student id and the name and i am providing alias suppose student name and let's create the main query so in the result variable i will store this query write db table and my table name is students so here we will use the join sub method basically join sub method have three parameters the first parameter will use the sub query and the second method is the name of the alias that is we can use the alias name for the first query so here i am taking the alias name is subject data and the third method is the closer function so i am creating the closer function that is function and finally we need to get so inside the closer function i am writing the condition so i am passing the join variable here and going to use this join variable and we will map this so we have to provide the students dot id equal to the alias name so here my alias name is subject data so the student dot id is the same as subject data dot student id and now i am returning the value that is return the result so here the subject data is the sub query and the result is the main query so we need to create a routes to call these functions so here my routes is web.php and i am creating a route that is route I am using the gate method and I am creating the URL that is subquery join and after that we need to provide the controller name so my controller name is student controller and after that we will use the class and the last uh, we need to provide the method name so here my method name is subquery join 
and I am providing the name of the routes suppose student dot subquery so all is set and if you run this URL we can see so here is my project and I will run this subquery join so here we can see the outputs that is same like the inner join but we are getting this result in different way we are getting this result using the subquery so here we can see the name is john email johnson and all the records from student table and i am getting the student name and student id so so here i am selecting the student id and the name so here we can see the id and name and all records from the student table it's all about Laravel software. It is a very widely used functionality. If you have any queries regarding this, please comment and subscribe to this channel for upcoming video. Next, I will discuss about Laravel conditional clause. Thank you. Bye bye.